welcome to the Scottish Textiles Showcase. We have just moved into our new shop here in the heart of Edinburgh, just off the Royal Mile. And we're delighted to be participating in Tartan Week. Um, what better moment than to be able to welcome people and to show off what we're about. As it says in our name, we specialise in Scottish textiles. We have a range of different products on our shelves, tweeds, tartans, cashmere, linen and lace. And for us, what's really important about all the products we sell is not just the products themselves, but the people who make them. And for us, it's the maker and the provenance, the place where something's made that's really important. And we like to connect everything we have here with that story. There's nothing I enjoy more than taking our customers off the beaten track to visit the working wall mills. Our Meet the Makers map is for us a really important focal point of our shop and actually it's what draws people in because it's showing who is making what where. There is a selection of mills, some of them are done in the Scottish borders, some of them are over on the Isle of Harris and Lewis and then you have the Shetland Islands. If we go down to the Scottish borders, this is just an hour south of Edinburgh, there you get lovely rolling hills and river valleys and this area was perfect for the development of the Scottish textiles industry during the Industrial Revolution. So for example, McCarran of Scotland is weaving mainly tartan, they have over 700 tartans that they have in their mill um, and then they're in Selkirk and then down in Hoyt, which is also known as the home of Kashmir, you have a lot of the big Kashmir mills like Johnson's of Elgin um, and in particular their knitting mill. There's nothing like seeing a wool mill and going round a mill in person, seeing the machinery in action, to really get an understanding of how things are made. From dyeing the wool to weaving the cloth. And it's when you, you get an understanding of these really intricate processes that go on that one has a really, a really appreciation of the value of a product when it comes out, when it's finally finished and when it goes on the shelf in the shop it's really important to tell that story to our customers and to give them an understanding of what made in Scotland really means. Also, we, we talk about the landscape, the Scottish landscape. This is a cashmere throw, but the, and it's, uh, it's, it's the colours, the purples and the greens and the, and the browns here, which one can immediately connect with, with the Scottish landscape. So from cashmere, tartan, tweed, we now go to lace, the story of Scottish lace. Now it's always very surprising because people don't really expect Scottish lace to be a product that would be in a Scottish textile shop. But we have one lace mill that's still left in Scotland um, and this is MYB who are in the Irvine Valley um, in a little village of New Mills. MYB are producing some lovely pieces uh, again, you can go and visit their mill, and it's a fascinating one to walk around. They've got the widest Nottingham lace loom in the world, so they've been able to produce these really wide panels of lace, which quite often can get used in film sets or theatres, and also in grand houses. And word has it that they have been used in the White House. So, moving on from lace, we'll now go on to see the story of Harris Tweed. From the land comes the cloth, and nowhere is that more true than for Harris Tweed, which is made on the Isles of Harris and Lewis in the Outer Hebrides. Harris Tweed is the only cloth in the world which is protected by an Act of Parliament. It has to be woven in the Outer Hebrides of Scotland and using wool that's been dyed and spun in the Outer Hebrides, and it has to be woven by the weavers who live in the Outer Hebrides. There's nothing that I like more than going to the island and going to the home of the weavers and then you get an appreciation of where they live, the landscape around their house and, and the cloth that they're designing. This cloth has to be woven in their homes. It has to be woven in a shed next to where they live. Um, and, and this is a really important part of the story because, I mean, way back that's what provided an income for the crofters. Once the cloth has been woven, it then goes to the, to the wool mills where it is finished um, and then the Harris Tweed Authority come along and they inspect every piece of cloth 
And once it's been inspected and they're happy with it, then they stamp it with the famous saw and they put a wax seal on the cloth. For me, what's really special about Harris Tweed is the fact that the wool is dyed before it's spun. And this gives the cloth its great depth of colour. I like to be able to explain to our customers is that, okay, we've got this bolt of Harris Tweed cloth here, but we know who it was woven by. In this particular case, it's Donald John Mackay, who's been a Harris Tweed weaver for all his life, as was his father before him. Donald John lives here on Luscantire Bay, and I think when you look at beautiful colours, the blues and the greens that are in the bay, and you look at this piece of cloth, one can immediately see from the land comes the cloth. It says it all really. The colours in the landscape are a never-ending source of inspiration for all the makers whose products we have here. Um, because the Scottish landscape is, is so dramatic, it's so beautiful, it's so rich and varied. Thank you so much for watching and we do hope that we can welcome you to Edinburgh in person one day.